back, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Drivers and strivers. Oh, yeah. Another Saturday Thrive special Empire. content. Thrive Empire. Your boy, Asher. Anthony. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about oftentimes you wake up super tired a lot of the times, right? And there's lots of things you can be doing to change that where you wake up feeling ready to go, right? This is how to defeat exhaustion, guys. Absolutely destroy it attack it we'll just get right into it i think a big big part of this and number one poor nutrition right yeah every day people wake up and the first thing that they do after they get out of bed cereal right yeah. cereal with say. sugar you know high fructose corn syrup we've been the first thing they eat i mean think about america now that's normal yeah. guys this is normal to eat cereal every day cereal is horrible wake up and devouring sugar some people even use it with chocolate milk or almond milk with yeah. uh, sweetened yeah. you know just a whole bunch of added sugar, or maybe they'll wake up and they'll have a cinnamon roll, a donut. Oh, I did it too long. I did it too long. I'm glad I'm, I've shifted over, waking up having cereal. My stomach's just aching all day. It's no good. Once you start changing your diet, it's gonna change your life. I mean, you're gonna start feeling better. What you put in is what you're gonna get out. You can't expect to yeah. put diesel in a Ferrari, right? I mean, come on, yeah. it doesn't make any sense. What we're talking about is like being tired throughout the day. You're exhausted, you're tired, and it all starts with the things that you do during the day. And the first thing you do is you, you wake up and you eat something, right? And you could either eat something better or you could not eat something. Both are good options, Yep. right? But not only is it breakfast, but it's all day. People just eat carbs on carbs on carbs on carbs, noodles, pastas. You need to be eating more meat yep. and vegetables. You know, more quality food. It's not quantity. Well, it's both, depending on what you're trying to do, of course. We're talking about health, you need to be eating good quality food. Another thing that most people don't do is not enough water. Oftentimes, I think most of America, if you look up, if you look it up online, it says most of America is dehydrated. And that's big facts because, I mean, you think about a lot of people are only, yeah, I drank four water bottles today. <gasps> You're supposed to be drinking at least half of your body weight in ounces, right? I'm 180 pounds. I'm supposed to be drinking at least 90 ounces when, you know, if you do the math, divided by 17 per water bottle, however many that is. Or if you're a tap drinker, goddamn Neanderthal. There's nitrate. Stop drinking tap water. But you should be drinking about a gallon a day. At, yes, a at least a gallon. A gallon a day, it's about eight, eight and a half regular size water bottles. The store bought ones. And that's enough for most size. I mean, unless you're a big one, maybe more, unless you're tiny, maybe you need less. But the point is to be hydrated more. What's the whole point? What's the whole point? What's the whole point that we're talking about right now? It's you don't want to be tired. Why do you not want to be tired all day? You don't get stuff done. You don't feel good. You want to take a nap. We don't want to take naps. We don't get tired like that during the day. We sleep maybe five hours. We slept like what? We got to bed at like 11.30 and we woke up at 4.30. So yeah. five hours last yeah. night. We're good. Instantly. We're good. You know, because you want to be good. And we didn't eat nothing this morning because we decided we're not going to eat until after we get this shit done. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's what, like seven o'clock now, if that. Yeah. Maybe close to seven. We've already gone for our run. We've done yeah. our push ups like we talk about. We're we're brainstorming for a brainstorm day. Yeah. Get a lot done. It's a choice. You know, you can get up, you can lollygag. And most people get up and they scroll through their phone. And that takes forever to get up. Yeah. Once you wake up, which you're takes up. us straight to number two, which is technology overload. Oftentimes, like we were just saying, you'll wake up, you'll be scrolling through. It's easy. It's Easy. Yeah. You're uh, tired. You want to tell yourself, no, I'm awake. I'm awake. The inner bitch is chirping. I'm awake. So you go on your phone. You just sit there forever. Yeah. The whole point of you getting up is so you can get up and get stuff done, right? You're not going to get up just to be scrolling through your phone. There's no point in that. I think oftentimes when I compare the days, because we've all been there, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I wake up and just like, uh, you know, whether it's YouTube shorts, whatever, you know, whatever it is, you wake up and you compare that to a day where you get up and you just get after it and get moving. As far as the productivity, right away, how you're feeling. I mean, I, you know, like today, we didn't get enough sleep, probably not enough as far as statistically, but we yeah. get up, we're ready to go, right? Yeah. We get up and we're ready to go because we're not sitting on our phones. We just wake up and we're gonna take on the day. We're excited to take on the day. We're yeah. thinking positive, which we're gonna drag us right into number three. Number but when three. it comes to technology overload real quick, it's all day, you know? What's most important Important is how you start your morning, but it could be 3 p.m. and you're just sitting on your phone, you're starting to get tired. If I ever go on my phone too much, no matter what time it is, if it's like 5, 6 p.m., even if I felt perfectly fine before and I start getting tired as soon yeah. as I'm scrolling for a long time. You know? Or you're playing the game all day. Yeah. You know, you're playing the game all day, you start to get those like you know, watery, stingy eyes. Yeah. I know for me, it's always the morning is when I'm on there bluffing around when I'm just like screwing, you know, wasting time. It could be any time of the day when you get off of work, when you're on your break, you know. Yeah, I at mean, work. most of the time at work, you're, you, I mean, you might be on a computer at work. Yeah. You know, just right. get off your phone. Yeah, right? get out. You know, start, you know. Get out, you know. I think we should do number four. You get off your phone. We don't have to go in order. 
Get off your phone and go outside. It's our show. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Get out and go outside. Get some fresh air. You know, a lot of times, like I just mentioned before, you're on the game all day. You're yeah. screwing around. You're yeah, inside. Work all day inside. Yeah. Most people don't work outside. If you work outside, awesome. You know, if you're yeah. a laborer, you know. Yeah. But a lot of people work inside. And then they get in their car. They go get fast food, number one. And they go home, sit inside watch TV on the phone. You yeah. need to be outside more than just the walk to your car. Yes. You know? I mean, I know for us, you know, at least, like I said, when we take our little little breaks sometimes whatever we're doing, we're outside. We're never yeah. just inside dicking around. And if we are inside, usually we're getting stuff done as far yeah. as research, you know, set up videos for you guys, whatever it may be. It's very important that we're getting outside, enjoying what mother nature's gave us, right? And, and both of our businesses are outdoor jobs, yeah. right? Clean outside, I do cars outside. And my whole quality of life, my whole perspective of the day when I'm outside is much better. I mean, I've always been an outside person anyways, but no matter what, whether you're your inside person, outside person, it's gonna benefit you big time. You go outside, you get some sun. And it's beneficial because you need vitamin fresh D. Air. You need it. You Almost need everybody, D. even us, probably have vitamin D deficiency because humans are meant to be outside all day, all 24 hours. We are right. made to be outside. Right. And I most mean, people have vitamin D deficiency and that causes a lot of issues with immune systems. Another thing, right, most people, like it's like eight out of 10 or more it's are more, yeah. dehydrated and lack of vitamin D, lack of sunlight. It's not hard to get outside and get in the sun. You're going to feel better. You're going to be breathing fresh air. It makes a big difference. Get outside and get in the sun. Yeah. Even if you're tired, as soon as you go outside, you feel more. Awake. Yeah. 100%. Immediately. As long as it's sunny out. You know? I think that's for sunlight. a reason, you know, back in our ancestral times, we'll be in our little teepees, sheds, whatever we're building. Yeah. We got to get outside and we got to go hunt so we get stuff for the kids, you know, yeah. and they get outside. You wake up, breathe the fresh air, start to see a little peak of sunlight or before it's, before it's a sun. Regardless, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna get up and you're gonna to wanna to attack the day. Yeah. Well, our biological cycle is made on the sunlight. Yep. When the sun's up, it's time for our bodies to work. When it goes down, it's time for us to sleep. Yeah. When the sun's up and it's warmer out, our bodies are used to going after it. When it starts to cool down, our bodies start realizing it's time to go to bed. Yeah. And people will just sit inside all day. They don't have the sunlight. They have artificial light telling them, it's time to be awake all day. Maybe not for everybody. I know there's a select group of few of you guys that feel the same way as me. I mean, now, now that I'm older, I'm attacking life. I have big ambitions, big goals. I want to get things done. If I'm sitting inside watching TV more than 30 minutes, not even, not even, dude, I get like anxious. Mm -hmm. I got to get after something. I need to get something done. I need to go somewhere. I need to meet somebody, whether, you know, whether I'm networking, whether we're doing business that day, yeah. brainstorming, I, I can't be sitting doing nothing. It kills me. There's always something to do. And I know that the same thing for you guys in most cases where you just get anxious. You don't want to take naps in the day like us. Oh, yeah. I fucking cannot take naps in the day. And when you do all that slowly, slowly and slowly, you start forgetting where you want to be and you right. start developing that negative mindset that we didn't, that we skipped over. Yeah. We're going to move back to number three. We can go in whatever order we want, right? <laughs> <laughs> Negative mindset. Another thing, most people do this, unfortunately. We're not right here in the head. Is you wake up. Oh, oh it, it starts Gotta with go that. to work again. Shit. Oh, I go to work. Alarm clock. F turn it off. We talk about this different times. The alarm clock goes off. I say it every morning. Yeah. I'm kicking ass today. Today's gonna be a good day. I'm kicking ass today. You get right. to live a day somebody else doesn't. Right. Right. You wake up. So it's don't a good be so day. negative. There's you know? no reason to. Someone didn't wake up. They didn't, they don't have that day that you have. Yeah. You know. I mean, literally, you wake up. It's a good day. We talk about this a lot. Today's a good day. When I walk in past the work, we we've talked about this before as well. We're walking into work. <laughs> we walk on those stones. We say it every day. Today is gonna be a good day. Today's gonna be a great day. Because you tell yourself that, just your body hearing that, like I, it's good self-talk. I've started to, you know, always, almost like talking to yourself, like, okay, I got this shit. I'm yep. the man in the mirror. Look yourself in the mirror and tell you, you know, it's all about the mindset. All between yep. the years, by having a negative mindset over time, remember that, that takes a big toll on you. Physically, it takes a toll yep. on you. Of course, uncontrollable things happen, but these are all things that we can control, guys. Yep. All of these things. Eating better, right? Not spending so much time on our phones. Technology overload is a big one. And starting to think better, getting outside, getting fresher, all things that we can change. Yep. All things that we can do to better ourselves. And when you have a negative mindset, you get tired and you get exhausted. If you go to work and you're positive about work, you can actually 
actually have a better time at work and yeah. feel more energized. 100%. Right? Like your energy comes from up here. Most, it does. It mostly really does. It comes from in here, what you eat, the amount of sleep. It comes from all of these plus more, right? Yeah. But also it comes from in the brain, right? The way that you think about your job, the way you think about work determines how tired you're going to be. It's a big one. While you're doing it. Attitude is everything. The days that I wouldn't want to go to work would be the days I'd be the most tired and I'd be the most sluggish. Yeah. I mean, attitude, attitude is everything, guys. about not wanting to be there. Right. 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 And then you get home and it's like, well, now you got to be happy with the present, right? You have to be working hard enough to where you know, okay, I'm doing well, take a little breather. I mean, these are all things that we can be doing, guys. And then obviously, you know, you know, when you're like us, like goddamn dogs attacking all day, attacking our goals, ambitions, getting things done, you get pretty damn tired. It's sometimes pretty self-explanatory, right? When you're tired, you need to f sleep. You need to sleep yeah. more, right? I mean, sometimes like- you sleep more or better or both. And there's nothing wrong, I know I said it earlier, being anxious about taking naps and stuff. If you get tired enough, right, it's all right to have that little, that little day Power nap. nap. Power, Power nap. nap. 15 minutes. That's what it is. Power nap. 15, no more than 20 minutes. You know what that's going to do? But it's not every day. It's no, not, it's not every it day. It shouldn't be every day. It's, it's, we slept for five hours last night. We probably won't have a power nap today, but if we slept for four hours, 10 days in a row. Which is times, normal. Yes. Then maybe you need to take a 15 minute power nap. So you don't, like you always talk about falling asleep on the road, which is, I don't I've know. Done it, I've done it. I've You've done yeah, it. I've done it more often. I mean, it gets to a point where we're hustling so hard, guys. And like I said, we're learning on these things too. I think we do a good job with all of these things, except probably for this one. Quality sleep. But it's Quality hard. Sleep. It's hard. It's hard. When you're yeah. doing stuff like this, you're knocking things out in the daytime, right? Yeah. We're getting things done. We have a good set schedule. It doesn't mean that we're getting enough sleep. I mean, I go to sleep actually like that. But, you know, for me to get upstairs, actually tell myself, okay, I'm done for the day. Mm -hmm. You should doing a whole bunch of stuff and you know until too late of course you need to be you need to be getting everything you need to get done it in most cases sleep. it needs to be quality you can't sleep. just get eight hours of shitty sleep you know no. turn the night light off sleep in the dark don't right. have your tv on you know when your tv is on your brain's analyzing everything that's going on around you like i don't think people realize that but like you can't just be listening to stuff either some people turn on tunes and but so they have like music on at night i mean quality sleep is important like if okay. anything ambient sound that's the right. only thing you should have if you want to listen to anything birds not even birds like just the the sounds of nature but like if you have the tv on your brain is analyzing everything that's being said all night you might not subconscious be mind's always working yeah they say that you know how they say they turn the video there's videos you can turn on on youtube whatever the subconscious mind how you'll turn it on mm -hmm. and like it's cool so it like, helps you think better because you'll be hearing all this good stuff all night i mean the subconscious mind is always working that's why i mean the whole thing about negative minds it's a big deal you're telling yourself good things every day the subconscious mind hears you talking to yourself right yeah. it's relating to itself Dab yourself up in the mirror. That's what Mel Robbins talks about. Dapping yourself up in the mirror, or shaking your hand, giving yourself a hug. These all things that can sound kind of goofy, but they actually make a difference in the way you perceive yourself. Mm -hmm. All things. Thing. Poor nutrition, just so we can go back real quick. Cut out the heavy sugar coffee. Come on, Starbucks every single morning. Come on. Not only do you have the caffeine that you don't need, which is, you know, the quiet, caffeine's all right. I don't, I don't use caffeine. He uses caffeine sometimes. For but sure. The heavy sugar, cappuccinos, mochi ma macchiatos, whatever they are. That's you all. You know how much me. sugar they have in those? And it's in liquid form, so your body processes it super quick. First thing in the morning, girls, some guys, but girls out there, stop it. 100%. We've been inherited here in America. That's a norm. It's normal to go stuff ourselves in the morning with cereal, sugar, yeah. go out to Starbucks, Dunkin', get a horrible yeah. macchiato, whatever the, oh, whatever the I hell need, you I call it. I need my caffeine. Black. Come on. Right. Black. There you go. I was going to mention that earlier. All the OGs that are drinking coffee, everybody, you know what they're drinking? They're not stuffing it with creamer, all this half and half, whatever you want to call it, bullshit. It's black coffee. Which, I don't even drink coffee, but if you're going to. Me neither, I don't coffee. drink black coffee, but if you do. You should drink black coffee. I drink black coffee, now. I don't drink. Because I said that. <laughs> My pops does, come on, Top G does. Everybody drinks black coffee, right? And if, I drink water. But, yeah, he only drinks water. But, but if you're that's, gonna drink coffee. But if you're normal and you're gonna drink, you know, something, caffeine or whatever. McDonald's, yeah. they sell them a dollar. Black coffee, dollar of six, any size. Something like that. If you're gonna go to McDonald's, that's you can Go get. somewhere. But we are normal people. We are not perfect. We are still working towards yeah. these things. Yeah. And we're giving you the scoop. Oh yeah. Because we've worked towards this stuff and we feel better. 100%. There's always, there's always room to improve. Because if you're just hauling ass all day, you're doing a lot of things, but your schedule's not set. Anxiety, you got a bad mindset. You're going to be tired. You're going to be... I know we've seen people that we work with previously, you know, that it's just like... Always yeah. just negative, drowsy. And who wants to be tired? And who wants to you be want around to someone who's acting want. like that? Yeah.
Yeah, right. Do you want to be tired? Most people do want to be tired. They want to be. They want to walk around saying, oh, dude, I didn't get no sleep last night. I mean, who the f cares? I mean, I'm sorry. Who cares? Yeah. Only you, and you're feeling bad for yourself. Because it's your decision. You didn't get enough sleep. You were eating bad. You were too much on your phone. I mean, these are all things that you can control. And if you want to be successful, like we're going to be, you need to be eating better. You need to be getting off of your phone. I mean, these are all simple things. Get outside and get in the sun. These are all ways to live a more quality life. Yeah. Of course, this is pretty straightforward, guys, but a lot of people are not doing this. Like I said, even us, we're working towards nailing these things consistently. I mean, we do most of them. We really do, except for the most part. Yeah. For me, I mean, you gotta have, you know, we're normal, we're norms, right? We ha I have big dank sometimes. Every I once know. in a while, every once in a while, the girls go in there. Actually, she doesn't have that anymore. But when she used to, I'd be just like, all right, yeah, make chicken. She used to always get the, whatever it is, the. Anyways. Just keep trying to do better, you know? When it comes down to these, I try to do better on some of them, but you're a better businessman, so. No, that's bullshit. <laughs> I mean, yes, we're both, he eats better. Yeah, except he uses technology less. No. Yes. Definitely not. In the morning? In the morning, yes. That's what I was mentioning <laughs> earlier. In the morning, I'm on my phone, but I don't use it. If you look at my screen time, <laughs> I don't use it quote, quote me on this. <laughs> I don't use it two hours. The, the only time I do is for Well, I might business. use it more for this. Yeah, for business, we use it. Yeah. Negative <laughs> mindset, that's all you. You got way more of a positive mindset than me. But remember, Number three is all you. Th this is a choice, yeah. the way you act. These are all things that we can control, guys. Lack of sunlight, we're both outside. You probably get outside yeah. a little more. I definitely yeah, got I like one or two outside. on you, sorry. No, it's, yeah, we're not. You, got, you got three and four. So? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those things where, you know, we both are hustlers. We're both grinders. We have full schedules constantly. We both got ladies. We both have people that we need to be there for, right? We're always hustling around, getting things done. Yeah. We're movers. I ain't gonna lie, we movers. We probably don't get enough sleep. We get quality sleep. We get quality sleep. There's nowhere near enough quantity. Yeah. And when you're getting stuff done, a lot of times you'll find out you're not really thinking about sleeping. I mean, to be able to buy stuff and not look at the price tag, you gotta work without looking at the clock. I forgot who said that. Anyways, no, but it's, it's a real thing though. I mean, you gotta be willing to want success more than, all right, I need to get to bed at this time. Sometimes there will be nights where you know, okay, I'm not gonna get enough sleep. So I'm gonna get four hours, three hours of sleep, two hours, maybe no sleep. Mm -hmm. But if you, when you wake up, the same mindset, <sighs> deep breath, today is going to be a great day. Tell yourself it all the time. It is going to be. It will be. It will be. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be right. an awesome day. A fantastic day. Make sure you guys like our video. Yep. Stay tuned for more content. You know, we're going to be posting videos once a week. We'll probably bump it up to two times a week within the next month or so. Yeah, but as you guys know, obviously it's a Thrive Thursdays, of course, in kind of our uh, special Saturdays, our content yep. videos. And make sure you guys check out the podcast. Go to our channel, Thrive Podcast is our other YouTube channel. Yep. Make sure you guys check it out. We'll link it down below in the description box. Follow our socials, Thrive Empire and everything. Thank you for watching, guys. Like I said, you can start considering these things. Add them on to your schedule. Yep. Add them on to your day and routine. It's gonna make a big difference, guys, in how you yeah. feel. So being tired. Nah. You don't get tired. Take it easy, guys.